In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will make a web application with a grid element. I enter values into input objects in the application. When the button is pressed, data is displayed in the grid object. I will show you how to apply the application step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create an input object for name. I am creating a variable. I send the title of the object to the input function. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any web browser. I added an input object for name to the web page. Now I will create an input object for age. I am creating a variable. I send the title of the object to the input function. I am saving the code file. I added an input object for age to the web page. Now I will create an input object for height. I am creating a variable. I send the title of the object to the input function. I am saving the code file. I added an input object for height to the web page. Now I will create a button object. I am creating a variable. I send text, icon, and color values to the button function. I am saving the code file. I added the button object to the web page. I will display the entered input values in a grid object. I am sending the columns parameter to the grid function. The entered values will be displayed in the grid object in pairs. I will create title and value label objects for name, age and height. I create title and value label objects for name. I am saving the code file. I added value and title label objects for name to the web page. I create title and value label objects for age. I am saving the code file. I added value and title label objects for age to the web page. I create title and value label objects for height. I am saving the code file. I added the grid object to the web page. I add text for value label objects. In this way, we can better see how they work. I am saving the code file. Objects are added to the web page in groups of two. For now, I am deleting the values of the value label objects. I want a function to be called when the button is clicked. I can do this by defining a function on the onClick property. I define the function. I will change the text of the value label objects. I can do this using the setText function. I can access the entered inputs using the value function. I am saving the code file. I enter values into input objects in the application. When the button is pressed, data is displayed in the grid object. In this video, we learned how to use the grid object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.